I'm Helen Awadia and here are some of the stories making the Evening Standard's front page. Boris Johnson has been hit by a backlash after suggesting pubs may be allowed to ban drinkers who fail to show a COVID vaccination certificate. The Prime Minister attempted to quell the growing backlash against vaccine passports by hinting they would not be used to gain entry to pubs until absolutely everybody had been offered the jab. He told reporters he does think there is going to be a role for vaccine passports, but then went on to hint that any scheme would be delayed until the national vaccine rollout was completed. French President Emmanuel Macron admitted today that the EU had lacked ambition over its sluggish vaccine rollout. Ahead of an EU video conference summit, Macron told of his frustration that the European bloc was lagging behind Britain, America and Israel in delivering jabs to millions of citizens. Mr Macron, who has himself been accused of undermining vaccination programmes by questioning how well the Oxford AstraZeneca jab works, said, We didn't shoot for the stars and that should be a lesson for all of us. Hollywood star Johnny Depp has failed in a bid to overturn the High Court's libel ruling that he was repeatedly violent to ex-wife Amber Heard. The actor sued the publisher of The Sun newspaper over domestic violence allegations, but the legal bid backfired when a judge found the claims were substantially true. Depp wanted to appeal the ruling, claiming Mr Justice Nickel had ignored key evidence and accusing Amber Heard of telling a calculated and manipulative lie to the High Court. But justices today refused Depp's bid for a full appeal hearing and his efforts to introduce new evidence. Boohoo.com, the online fashion group, has scaled back its number of suppliers following the working condition scandal at factories it uses in Leicester. The company was found to be paying staff in Leicester factories well below the minimum wage. It emerged that one of the world's biggest hedge funds, Marshall Waste, had quietly bet against Boohoo's share price. Boohoo said it now worked with 78 suppliers, having weeded out those that do not comply with its newly rigorous sustainable sourcing rules. And finally, the Olympic torch relay has set off from the Japanese city of Fukushima, beginning a four-month countdown to the postponed 2020 Summer Games in Tokyo. This is despite polls showing that the majority of the public is against the Olympics being held as scheduled due to the coronavirus pandemic. Tokyo 2020 President Saiko Hashimoto said, For the past year, the Olympic flame was being kept alive quietly but powerfully. The small flame did not lose hope, and just like the cherry blossom buds that are ready to bloom, it was waiting for this day. For all these stories and more, head to standard.co.uk.